Hi, I'm Bob Allison with Shop Saver CNC. Around here, they call me Router Bob. In this video, we're going to use the machine to manually digitize the template, and we're going to cut it with a tangential knife. I think you're going to really like this process. John, I've got an interesting project for us. What do we got? This is a template that a customer brought in, at least a partial template. This is the outside shape of a rubber floor mat, but not everything's there. Some of the things he's just drawn in there to show us where to put them. And so this gets cut at a five millimeter rubber mat. I think we can do that with a knife. Shouldn't be a problem. We can uh, digitize this on the CNC. Oh, that's a great idea. And then use the EcoCam knife to cut it out. Perfect. Well, if you'll digitize that, then send me the file. I'll finish it off in VCAR Pro and I'll send you the code. No problem. Let's, let's get it done. Let's get started. The way I start a project like this is let's look at the template and see what we know and what we don't know. Well, uh, the outside edge fits exactly where they want it. So what we got here, that looks straight. It may be perfectly straight. Probably not. That's definitely curved. We've got a fairly straight line here and one here and a little radius there. But we've got some stuff drawn on here. So here's the center point side. I got to know where that is. I got to know where that center point. And on this center point, we have a circle center that looks like it's an inch and a half. And I think that's for a dimmer switch in this truck. And then there's two ovals here centered. And I think there's dimensions. And I think those in the old vehicle, sometimes the brake and clutch pedals came up from the floor. That's probably what that's for. We also need to add a cut here and here because the pedals don't come off of here, so we'll have to be able to lay that flat. It'll probably be glued in place. So that's pretty much uh, what we know. Now, uh, the material, they brought in sample material, and it's about five millimeters thick. It's a rubbery material. The first thing we did was actually cut it with a knife to see how soft it was and to figure out what we were going to have to cut it with on the machine. Well, the tangential knife is going to work great. We're going to oscillate. Oscillate just means that the knife moves up and down. Sometimes you can cut them without oscillating by just rubbing the knife through here, but that's not going to work because it's too thick. And then it's a tangential head. So what that means, as we make the cuts, it rotates so that the knife is always in the perfect position to cut that. So pretty much that's what we're going to do. All right, now let's look at how you actually set the digitizing function up on the controls. So here's what we do. We come over to File, digitize in manual. And when we do that, it brings up an actual toolbar here. Okay, so we jog the machine over. Now, what you're seeing on the screen here is where the spindle is. And think about, we have a pointed tool. I usually use something like a V-bit. And let's say that I'm going to start, let's say we're just talking about a rectangle or, or four straight lines. So let's go over here to the first one. So we go to one corner. Okay, and when we get there, so we've lined it up, we hit start. All right. Now, I'm going to move to the next position. So this is the first corner. Then I'm going to tell it what was that. That was a straight line. That's a G1. All right. Same thing. Go to the next corner. That's a straight line. That's a G1. We come back down. There's our third line. That was a G1. And then finally over here, this says close it. And we save it. And we'll save it as digitizing text. It'll be fine. Okay. So now let's look at that in VCAR Pro. So we'll just import it. There's the shape. And there's what we have. So there's our rectangle. There was the first point, second point, third point, so forth. And it closed it. If we look at the node editor, you see we have four lines. So that's the first thing. Okay, now let's try a more complex exercise. So we're going to start again. We're over at the first point. We're going to turn it on. Then we're going to jog to down our first edge, and we're going to tell it that was a G1. Then we'll go to the next point, G1, next point, G1, then we'll tell it to close. Now this next move is going to be a rapid move. So I, I made the move, I'm going to tell it that that's a G0. That a line will not be created there, but I'm going to tell it that this is the first point of a three-point arc. So that's the first one. So let's go up to this one. Click that. Get it back in here a little bit. Click that. And you notice it says arc midpoint added. And we go to the third arc. We click that again. Now the endpoint's added. Then we save it. 
We just overwrite the last one. Now let's look at what we have in VCAR Pro. So we'll import that. Anyway, and there we are. So there's our rectangle. Then our rapid move was actually from here to here. That became the first part of the arc. Second point, third point, and we close it. That's how manual digitizing works. So it's really powerful. Okay, now this is the digitized file that CNC Sean just sent me. Now let's look at what you do once you get this, because remember these are straight lines. So let's select that and let's go to Node Editor and you see what you've got here. These are straight lines. And the way I can always tell if I drag one of them out, it's two straight lines. All right. So what do we do with this? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is cut that. So just go right over the corner, hit a C, and that'll cut it. And right over the corner, hit a C. Now this is one line, so I've selected it. Okay, what you're going to end up doing is, let's go back to the node editor. I want to delete, so I go over that line, delete it. I want to delete every other one, and that should be fine. Now, here's why. It's hard to pick the corners if you don't. Okay, the next thing is let's create a new layer, and let's, let's call it Geo. I'm going to make it red where it stands out. Right now, that's the active layer. So now, remember, this is an irregular curve. So here's how VCAR Pro creates it. I start with the curve tool, snap to that point, and 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 that point. And there, there's our curve. So now that should be a, a curve that represents the edge of our template. I do the same things on all the other edges, and that gives me the shape. Now, there's one other thing here. The end of this point is where that circle goes, and I believe the diameter was 1.5. So all I would do is create it right there. That locates that. And then I would do the same things with the ovals, and once again, the center of one of the ovals goes here, and one goes there. So that's how you take that digitized file, bring it in VCAR Pro, turn it into irregular curves, and then from that point on, then that's where the tool pathing comes from. Okay, so here's what our final file looked like. So once we got everything finished, you can see the geometry. We did the edges. Uh, here's the ovals we created. There's that circle. We put the splits in there. And the reason those splits were put in is because we have to have a way to get this mat on there. Let's take a look at simulation. And we'll validate how things got done. Center that a little bit better. We run through simulation, and there we go. So that should be our mat. So now that's our toolpath, and that's and we simulated it. Well, we've completed our toolpathing. We verified it with simulation. Let's send the files out to CNC Sean, and let's go make a rubber floor mat. All right, I got the file from Rotor Bob. This one's going to be really straightforward. We're going to use the EcoCam E12 solid carbide knife blade. We're going to be cutting five millimeter rubber. This knife is going to do a great job giving us good clean edges. Now all we got to do is get this blade installed and we can get to cutting.
Sean, how did the rubber mat come out? You know what, it turned out great. Here's our template. You can see it lines up perfect. But look at the uh, detail here. We've oh, got our wow. elbows cut out, the circle cut out real nice. The edge quality is good. I like it. You know, that strategy of digitizing the perimeter of the template and then adding the other details that were sketched on there with VCAR Pro proved that pretty good, didn't it? It, it worked slick. It was really easy. You know, it's a great feature. And this EcoCam knife is pretty impressive. It really is. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you need more information, you can contact us at ShopSaber.com. And be sure to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you for watching.